Hi guys, it's Anthony from ECWP Guide here. I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time to give you a brief look at what you can expect in the next version of WordPress. As most of you are probably aware, there was a new version that just came out recently, version 3.7. Uh, it was released late October. There's going to be a new version that's coming out very shortly in the next, well, probably in the next few weeks. It's due out on the December 12th, uh, so mid-December-ish, and it's going to be WordPress 3.8. As you can see by the dashboard I've got up in front of me here, the user interface looks a little bit different to the previous versions of WordPress. It's using a lot darker interface. Uh, I think you'll find it's a lot cleaner and it's a lot easier to read. If you've got a retina device or a high resolution display, I think you'll find it's a lot more readable as well. The new user interface is nice and responsive. Uh, I think you'll find with 3.7 the layout is responsive as well but they've done a lot more work in 3.8 to just make it work a little bit nicer in the different size browsers as you can see here as I move the browser window in uh, so if, for example you're using it on a tablet device such as an iPad or if you're looking at it on a smartphone as the browser width changes you'll find that the layout changes as well as I said, 3.7 does this as well, but I think you'll find in 3.8 it's going to be a lot nicer and works a lot better than as it does currently. If we head on over to the post menu, we'll have a look at how these are all laid out. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same as it did before, except for all the colours. I think you'll find with those colour changes, though, things are a lot more readable. If we head into an actual post... The main difference you'll see here is the toolbar and the redesigned icons. Again, they work the same as before, so bold does exactly the same as what it did before and all these buttons are in the same position. They're just a lot cleaner to look at and I think you'll find, as I said before, if you're looking at it on, say, a retina device, they're going to be a lot nicer to look at. If we head on over to the themes page, you'll see that the layout has been given a refresh as well. The thumbnail images you'll see are a lot bigger than what they were previously and if we click on say one of these themes it pops up again the nice thumbnail image and the description for the themes and from here you can either activate it or view a live preview of that theme if we head on over to the plugin screen you'll see that things look a lot like they did before but now when you activate a plugin I think you'll find it's a lot easier to tell that it has been activated Previously, or in the existing version of WordPress, it just changed the background colour slightly for the activated ones compared to the ones that weren't activated. Now you'll find that it has a nice little blue border down the side or a little bar down the side, basically to show which one's been activated. And I think you'll find that it makes it a little bit clearer so you can, when you're looking at your list of plugins, just to see what ones are activated and which ones aren't. The last thing I just wanted to show you guys was the new colours that are available in the WordPress dashboard. If we go over to Users and click on one of the Users here, if we have a look at the Admin Colour Scheme now, we'll see that there's an additional selection of colour choices. Previously there was just a blue colour and a grey colour, whereas now we have additional two choices. The current one you see here is just default, so that's the one that I currently got selected at the moment. As you can see, dark grey uh, menu color on the sidebar here and with the blue for the selected menu option if we click on blue we get like a lighter blue menu interface then we also have a lighter color which gives you the lighter background colors or the, the lighter sidebar menu and then we also have a midnight color which is kind of a combination of default and light you get the darker sidebar menu it's not quite as dark as the gray in the default color but you also get the nice bright menu colors here when it's highlighted or the selected menu items and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys i think you'll find the interface looks a lot cleaner and a lot nicer than what you've seen in the past as i mentioned wordpress 3.8 is due out around about the 12th of december so make sure you keep an eye out for that there will be an update to the easy wp guide so make sure you keep your eye out for that as well uh, it'll be released sometime after the new version of WordPress is released. You can follow EasyWP Guide on Twitter or you can like our Facebook and we'll keep you updated with more information as we get closer to releasing the guide.